What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Reed Shepard on the Houston Rockets. That uh, that rookie, he is he is killing it in summer league. He's looking really, really damn good. Third overall pick in the draft. Had a lot of potential coming in anyway. But you love to see the, the young guys particularly go into summer league and, and ball out. Because a lot of them struggle. And, you know, it's part of the game of growing. But he came out in these first few games and has looked like he's better than everybody else on the floor. And that's a good thing to see, if, especially if you're a Rockets fan. So I want to talk about his performance and what we're seeing out of him and how it kind of fits on the Rockets going forward because he's looked really good through these three games and I want to know how impressed you guys are with him. It is just summer league, take it with a grain of salt, but you know, when you see somebody come out and play well there and they're, you know, they're a young guy that's they're coming into the league as a rook, it's a good sign. It's a good sign and I would rate him on a scale of 1 to 10 in summer league like an 8 and a half to a 9. I think he's been like an A-level player. And I think we've gotten to see a lot of good things about him. So let's talk about him. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Please like the video. But the man don't really look at, doesn't really look like he has any flaws in his offensive game right now. And uh, yeah, it's any which way that you want him to score, he can do it. Any which way you want him to create for others, he can do it. And I love what we're seeing. I'm going to focus particularly on the offense to start this because we've seen him be able to shoot the three. We've seen him be able to shoot the mid-range. He's been able to attack the rim, has, has some nice dunks. He's been able to hit the floater. He's been able to hit the, the elbow jumpers. He's been able to hit shots out of the pick and roll and, you know, create his own space. He's, he's shown that he can score from anywhere, which is great, great, because that's something that this Rockets team needed is, is somebody that can space the floor and score out there. So he fits from day one. In the first game against the Lakers Summer League team, he had 23 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists on 58% from the field, made 4 threes, was 67% from 3 in that game, and he also had 3 blocks as a 6'3 guard. So that's a, that's a good sign that you're a guy his height is, is having 3 blocks and making a defensive presence, making it felt. But the scoring and the shooting and the, the efficiency is, is awesome. That's what you want to see. Game 2 against the Wizards. 22 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists on 60% from the field with 5 steals. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I think he had a couple threes in that game. So you're seeing a lot of everything from him. And it's not just, a, oh, I'm only going to be a floor spacer. We're seeing him play passing lanes. We're seeing him create his own jumper. We're seeing him create for guys like Cam Whitmore. Uh, the fast break, the transition passing, and the scoring is there. He, there really hasn't been a hole in his game in the summer league. The only real hole I guess is that he's he's a little bit undersized but that hasn't stopped many players from being great so he could potentially dominate that way in the back-to-back -back game where they played against the Pistons he had 15 points four rebounds two assists uh and then what was it he also had like three steals or something like that yeah three steals had a little bit of a down shooting game but back-to-backs are going to do that to you your legs aren't always there um so three through three games he's shooting 49 percent from the field and 38 percent from three while largely having to create his own stuff and our contested shots, right? In those three games, 20 points per game, four, about four and a half assists, four and a half rebounds with good defense. That's, you can't ask for much more out of somebody of, you know, of his stature. What well, you can't ask for much more than that because he's giving it to you from all ways. It's not like he's just a spot up shooter. It's not like he can only go to the rim. He's got a very fluid offensive game, and his offensive game it reminds me a lot of Austin Reeves, and it's not just because he's white, <laughs> but it's more so the, the ability to score from everywhere, and he just the, the, the jump shot looks pretty similar. The, the mannerisms look pretty similar, especially when you watch him in the pick and roll. They kind of move the same way, and uh, they're, they're efficient bucket getters. That's what those dudes do, and I, I think he could be like a souped-up version of him down the line and you know it's untapped potential you never know how great he could actually be but he's looked really good really good and when you when you've seen him hit the midi you've seen him hit the three you've seen him create for others you've seen him run the pick and roll i don't know what more you really need to see out of him in the summer league like i you probably consider shutting him down after these last few games that we've seen i don't really know what else you're looking for like if any questions you had i think they got answered and I think that that was the important part of Summer League. Now just getting ready for the regular season because, you know, it's going to be the most games he's ever played in one season. So get his legs there. Get him in shape for it. And I, I really think that if he's going to be able to play passing lanes as well as he has in Summer League, now granted, a lot of players in Summer League just can't 
pass the ball at that level very well. But uh, if he can make a defensive impact, that's going to make him pretty much a day one starter, uh, especially with Ime because Ime Udoka loves his defenders. And that's one thing that the Rockets really just needed the most is somebody that can defend and shoot and score and space the floor. That's, that's the biggest thing. When you shoot 38-plus percent from three, the Rockets were a terrible shooting team last year. If he can come out there and floor space, he could start from day one. But yeah, I think I've seen enough to, to warrant you know being really hyped up for him going into training camp and preseason and into the regular season. Like He could be a really, really good rookie. And uh, you know he doesn't have a a whole lot of offensive responsibility because you're going to have Shingun there. You're going to have Freddie. There's going to be Jalen Green, Jabari, like there, Cam Whitmore. There, there's a lot of guys on that team that'll be creating and, and scoring. He could easily just slot in as a, as a floor spacer and then, you know, pick and pick and choose his moments, which I, that's a lot of what we saw with Austin Reeves when he was out there with the Lakers a couple years ago is he's, you know, he's playing off of Braun and AD, and then, you know, it becomes attack the closeouts, take the threes, hit the mid-range, make the right plays. That's the mold that I could see Reed Shepard stepping into pretty pretty early on as a rookie because that it's something that the, the Rockets need. But yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you uh, grade your, uh, your interpretation of Reed Shepard through these first three summer league games? I give like an 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. Uh, probably would have been a nine and a half if he didn't have a little bit of a stinker from the field and the the back to back that they just played. But ultimately, I've been impressed. I think you've seen everything you needed to see, and you could you would be just fine if you wanted to sit him down for the rest of the summer league and get prepared for the regular season. But let me know in the comments if you agree. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Please like the video. But the Rockets look like they got one guy that's going to be able to step in and play from day one and be impactful. Which for a team that's trying to make the playoffs, that's a good thing. So. Thanks for watching. Done. Peace.